Oat drinks are prepared of various different oat products by extracting desired substances with water. The extraction may be enhanced by wet milling the oats. For example, oat protein concentrate may be used to prepare oat drink. In this video, the oat protein concentrate is mixed in hot water bath using a rotor stator homogenizer. The aim of this process is to get the dry matter content of the oat drink to a desired level. The process as such is simple, so it's easy to alter the process parameters and see how they affect the properties of the end product. For instance, a teacher can divide the class to smaller groups who utilize different process parameters and compare their results afterwards with other groups. Separation may be done by filtering or decanting. On laboratory scale, centrifugation is a suitable technique while using fine oat powder such as the oat protein used here. Next, the water oat protein mixture is centrifuged to separate the precipitate from the supertenant. First, the mixture is divided into the centrifugation tubes, which are balanced to ensure a safe and smooth operation of the centrifuge. After the centrifugation, the supertenant is decanted manually. The aimed dry matter content is 8 to 10 percent, as in commercial products. Lastly, the oat drink is weight. The oat drink may also be prepared from oatmeal. In this case, the oatmeal is extracted in an automated malting system. First, the water is heated to 57 centigrade followed by the addition of the oatmeal. Lastly, the ingredients are mixed totally together. When the ingredients are mixed, the malt pipe is closed with sieves. Then the pumps of the machine circulate the water through the oatmeal. During the process, it is good to keep an eye on the sieves. Depending on the mesh size used, the sieves may leak or get clogged. During this process, it was noticed that the oatmeal was forced out through the sieves. Clogging may cause some problems with the extraction process. Next, the malt pipe is lifted above the equipment to let the oat drink to drip down to the kettle. Lastly, the oat drink is filtered with a sieve to prevent any larger particles from entering to the end product. The spent oatmeal from the malt pipe is weighed. To prevent any unnecessary food waste, the oatmeal can be used for bakery products. The oat precipitate forming in the industrial oat drink processes is used as animal feed. 
Here we can see the oat drink straight from the extraction process and the day after the process. The heavier particles have sedimented on the bottom of the tube. This sedimentation was a common feature of the oat drink in the early days. Nowadays there are several tricks that are used to get the drink to stay homogeneous. The sedimenting particles may be ground or milled smaller, stabilizers and thickeners may be used. Next, the dry matter content is measured to make sure that the desired level is obtained. This may be done with an automated dry matter content analyzer, as presented here, or with an oven and a laboratory balance. Remember to make sure that tested liquid is as homogeneous as possible, so that the sample represents the product. If the dry matter content is too low, you can add some sedimented oat precipitate to the oat drink or repeat the extraction phase. The final dry matter content is recorded. If any additions were made, both the precipitate and the liquid product should be weighted after this phase to be able to calculate the yield and the amount of the formed side product. Here, several ingredients may be added. Alternately, the salts may be added already in the extraction phase. The rapeseed oil is added to the oat drink. A suitable amount is one mass percent of the total amount of the oat drink. The pre-homogenization is done with a rotor stator homogenizer. After the oil and oat drink are pre-homogenized, the mixture is homogenized with a high-pressure homogenizer. Finally, the product is heat treated with a pasteurization unit. First, the pasteurization unit is being thoroughly warmed with circulating water which is heated to desired temperature. After the unit has been warmed, the oat drink is poured to the product tank. After the water has been removed from the system, the heat treatment can start. The oat drink products are classified as ESL products. However, we choose the heat treatment that is gentle to the product. This step may also be performed in a standard kettle. After the heat treatment, the oat drink is chilled in the freezer. The desired storage temperature is below 4 centigrade. 